Well, hey gang, let's go on a hike. Thinking about heading out to Portage Lake State Park here outside of Jackson, Michigan. I've got some new backpacking food I want to try out. So hopefully that's going to be a good one. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can't time this to, I think sunset's eight o'clock. It's what, 4.30? Unless I haven't set the time back in my clock. But we'll see when we get there. Hydration. All right, let's go for a walk in the woods. You can tell I'm not used to spring weather yet as I dressed way too warm for today. But check this out. And that is Portage Lake over there. So this is one of my favorite trails in Michigan. I also use it to do my long distance training. As, as some of you know, I am an ultra marathoner training for a hundred mile run in September. But sometimes it's good to take a slow walk through the woods instead of running through it. You can see a lot more, enjoy the peaceful and the beauty that mother nature offers. Mile number one. Ta-da. So those are pretty accurate within, I guess, the first four or five miles. But then after that, it just doesn't match up to your GPS. So just keep that in mind. So we're just under two miles in, still have about three hours of daylight left. Oh, that's pretty, let's see. Got the vine swinging in the wind. And as you can hear, we're still pretty close to civilization. I mean, it's not like we're in, you know, the wilderness or Utah. Or Montana so it's really hard to get lost out here staying on the trail or just realize that 
if you take a direction and go, you're going to run into either a house, um, a lake, or some sort of road. Ooh, let's get the camera back. You know. More froggies. You recall me complaining about overdressing when we started this hike I'm glad to say that that's not true there's a nice little breeze going through that's keeping me from burning up right now I'm actually pretty comfortable but seriously freaking beautiful Let me show you guys what I'm looking at right now. How about that? We're going to eat lunch somewhere. I mean, not lunch. Good gracious. Dinner somewhere over here. But first, let's go up this hill and hit mile number two. There we go. How about that? Besides the gunshots. Alright, well. We found us a place to eat lunch. Good gracious, I did it again. Uh, we found us a place to eat dinner. And hopefully I can get some good shots of the sunset if I stay out here that long. So, well, let's get this stuff unpacked and start cooking. All right, so we're going to try Caribbean curry. Where's this from? Nomad Nutrition. Give that a shot. So not slow motion there. So it looks really cool. So it calls for a cup of water. Mm -hmm. Right there. 
And then we're going to make a cup of tea. So what I'm doing right now is it's doing what's like a pre-burn. It's getting the gas hot enough to become a vapor. So you got to let this burn off. Would it end right before it goes off? We will. Ah, oh, we missed it. Chit chatting on the camera. Here we go. You guys hear that? There's a, there's a duck. And just like that, we're boiling. We're close to it. Always take these out. You don't want to eat that. All right, we're boiling. Oh my gosh, that smells good. See how this tastes. And I'll put my spoon somewhere. Aha, the spork. So get it nice and stirred up. Maybe you guys want to see that. Let's sit for 10 to 15 minutes. All right. So, the second part of this. We're going to have some tea and enjoy this beautiful scenery while our food cooks. I've always wanted to bring a kayak out here. There's a road about a half a mile from this spot, so you could stop, drop off the kayak, and just drag it. I bet you there's some killer fish out here.
All right, it's time for the big reveal. Definitely colorful. All right, I don't know. That might not look as appetizing to you as it does me, but especially whatever the stringy thing is, but let's try it. It has a kick to it, a nice bite, which you would expect from curry. Um, maybe a little bit more water, as there's something in there that's not completely rehydrated. But other than that, this right here is freaking delicious. Maybe, uh, a little bit more time soaking but no complaints oh I guess I should let you guys here's what I like about nomad nutrition um, natural ingredients uh, potatoes onions carrots quinoa coconut milk yam broccoli sun-dried tomatoes uh, bell peppers, crushed tomatoes, olive oil, garlic, ginger, spices, and sea salt. That's it. No preservatives. Nothing that you don't want your body to have. And it's really freaking delicious. So yeah, there's one ingredient in here that did not rehydrate. I'm thinking broccoli. But other than that, because the quinoa seems like it did good. Oh yeah, it's not the quinoa. So, but other than that. Yes, yes, freaking awesome. All right, so we'll make sure we clean up. I'm gonna hang out here for a minute and enjoy this beautiful view. So the temperature is dropping. I don't know if I wanna stay out here because I don't have a jacket. Silly me. So I'm thinking about going ahead and packing up and getting the heck out of here. This has definitely been worth the two mile hike out. This, you know, got to hike back out now. All right, we're all packed up, ready to go. The only trace is my butt print. All right, let's get out of here. And just like that, we're back on the trail, ready to go. So I'm going to have to come back here for a couple of more dinners, but I also have my jacket so I can stay out. The wind's picking up a little bit. 
and it's supposed to get in the 40s which for us right now is a freaking heat wave but hold on a second yeah gorgeous so we took a little side trip off of the trail to check this out Yeah, so I need to get out of here because I could sit here forever listening to that, looking at that. So let's check this out. That looks a little creepy. But we still got about an hour and a half before sunset. But that curry, man, I'm still raving over that. That was freaking delicious. So we'll go next time and maybe have a little bit of hot water in reserve just in case we find some veggies that don't rehydrate all the way. All right. We made it. if we can do this without banging the camera on the door. Ah. All right, gang, so that was a little four mile trip out at Portage Lake State Park, just outside of Jackson, Michigan. Uh, dude, I love the food, that, that uh, curry, the Caribbean curry, excellent. Check out Nomad Nutrition. I'll even put a link out there, uh, just in case you're interested to see what they have. And we did miss the sunset, but the temperature started dropping and I didn't want to be stuck out in the woods without a jacket at least. 
So, you know, made the adult decision. Anyway, peace out. Love you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.